Hey everybody, my name is Antranik and it's time for another follow along yoga video. I'm going to try to run through a bunch of things just so we can stretch and move our body and feel good. Hopefully I can cram this into 20 minutes and then you'll leave this feeling great, right? That's the goal anyway after any yoga session. And yeah, let's get right into it. Let's get on hands and knees just like this with our shoulders over our wrists and our hips over our knees, tabletop position. And let's do shoulder rolls. Shoulder rolls are very simple. Keep your elbows straight and move your shoulders in a big circle. Try to make as big of a circle as you can. Remember to breathe. Basically, I'm just moving my shoulders back together, down, forward, up to my ears, back. Just like keep doing this, massaging your whole body. And if your elbows are bending, lock them out, straighten them. Don't let your elbows bend. Switch directions. And by the way, I have a whole video on shoulder rolls and shoulder roll progressions. And then another video on advanced shoulder rolls, such as doing these with one arm and so forth. Okay, now. From here, let's go into child's pose. Bring your feet together, knees apart, and sit back toward your heels as you allow your head to go down to the ground. And just take a couple breaths here. <sighs> Remember, you can always go into this position at any time of any yoga class whenever you want to chill. And you can always do any variation of whatever it is that you want to do because you know your body better than anyone else. Now, tent your fingers up. Go on your fingertips. So your fingers, your fingers are straight and your palms are in the air and you're looking at your fingers. Feel how this changes things a little bit. Okay? Now, Relax your fingers back down, your palms down. Walk your hands to the right. And look under your left armpit. This is a nice lat stretch, a nice side stretch. Take a deep breath. And let it go. Come back to the center. Bring the hands in the middle. And then bring them to the, right, uh, to the left as you look under your right armpit. Deep breath. Bring the hands back to center. Now from here, crawl your fingers forward, forward. Keep crawling them forward until you're in puppy dog pose. Keep crawling them forward until your hips are over your knees. And then allow your forehead to go down to the ground and this is puppy dog pose <sighs> crawl your hands back inch them back a little bit now notice that your upper back is arched or you arched it while you were in puppy dog from here I want you to tuck your toes lift your hips up into downward facing dog this is your first downward facing dog, so you might be feeling a little bit tight. From here, you can pedal the feet. So you bend one knee, straighten the other. Bend one knee, straighten the other. Just moving through. You can swivel the feet, so you go on the sides of your feet. And then from here, we're going to get on our knees, bring our knees down. Go on our back. So meet me supine like this on your back. Bring your arms out to the side. Bring your knees up. Bring your feet and knees high up enough so that your lower back is firmly on the floor. And then twist your knees to the right and look over your left. You can put your hand on your thighs, your right hand on your left thigh to keep it down. 
and then bring it up, switch sides. Looking over your right side this time. Now bring the knees back up and then we're going to do these floor angel slides. So you can watch me if you like for a moment. Put your arms in a T position, like a, sorry, like a cactus position, not a T position. And with your elbows bent 90 degrees and your hands overhead. And the most important part is that your knees are up and your lower back is firmly on the floor. So there's no space, no light going through your lower back. Okay, now from here, we're going to slide our hands over, straighten our arms overhead, and then bring them back down while the elbows and wrists stay as close or to the ground as possible, in contact with the ground. The elbows and wrists in contact with the ground as you straighten your arms overhead, and bring them back to a 90 degree shape. These floor angel slides are really great for activating your back and actively awakening those postural muscles. So I think we did several of them now. Now from here, we're going to get up, sit up and set up like this one leg internally rotated one leg externally rotated, and we're gonna slowly switch sides, just switching sides however way you like, and then the other way, just moving our shins and warming up our hips. You can try pushing one thigh down and then the other thigh down, just to like move the hips in that position, pushing the thigh down pushing the thigh down just to emphasize that and now we can add a twist so on one side and then I twist toward the back and I go to the other side and I twist to the other side okay now let's go sit cross-legged sit cross-legged and then put your hands together and rest your elbows on your knees and take a couple moments here to breathe. Now I want you to push the knees up against your elbows for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, push your knees down. You can use, rest your head on your fingers, maybe cross your fingers, rest your head on them. So your head, your head acts like a weight. Now inhale as you push your knees up against the weight of your arms and head. And then exhale, let it go, drop the knees down. One more time, inhale as you bring your knees up, resist that and then exhale, drop your knees down. Notice how you get deeper each time. One more time. Press your knees up, push them up against the weight of your arms and head. And then exhale, push them down the opposite way. Good. Now let's release that and let's go into a wide squat. Horse stance. Horse stance like this. Put our hands inside, our elbows inside our knees, and then push our hands down in this prayer position. So this prayer position pushes our knees apart like so. Let's hang out here. Look forward. Don't look down. Breathe. From here, straighten your legs and go into a straddle forward fold. Good. Now from here, bring 
your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers and try to bring your hands overhead. Breathe. Now I want you to bring the hands. I'm going to stand sideways here for you. Put the hands down. Put your feet closer together and sit in a chair for chair pose. Okay? In chair pose, the feet are very close together. From here now, let's forward fold and interlace our fingers behind our back and try to take it overhead. You could bend one knee or bend the other or keep them both straight. Up to you. And then from here, chair pose. One more time, forward fold, interlace the fingers, go overhead, chair pose. From chair pose, let's stand. Good. Stand and get on your he get off your heels, get on your toes, raise your heels up, maybe look up and swan dive, forward fold. Hands to the mat, inhale, half forward fold. Slide your hands above your knees, liberally above, enough to flatten your back, elongate your head forward. Flat, back, breathing, just relaxing in this flat back, half forward fold position. And let it go down to forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, <sighs> hang out here for a moment. <sighs> From here, let's drop the hands down and we're gonna come up one vertebrae at a time. The head will be the last thing to come up. Eventually the shoulders are going to roll backwards. <laughs> And the head is going to come up, palms forward. Deep breath. Enjoy this moment. Good. Now walk your walk forward in front of your mat and step back into a lunge. From here, I want you to be in a nice lunge, long lunge. From here, we'll do a few splits, squats. Push this knee forward, the right knee forward, and back up until the right knee is straight. Right knee, bend it, and then straighten it. The front leg was doing most of the work here. Right knee, bend it, straighten it. Let's do a couple more. Bend the right knee, and straighten it. Bend the right knee and straighten it. Good. Let's switch sides. Okay. Set up in your split squat. From here, bend the left knee and straighten it. Bend the left knee, straighten it. Let's do this on your own a few times, bringing this left knee forward over your toes and then back up. This is a really good strengthening and stretching exercise for many muscles, <laughs> many parts of your lower body. Mm-hmm. Okay, now. On the next one, we're going to come down, put the back knee down. From here, put our hands down to the right of our left leg. And then try to get one forearm down to the ground. And then wrap your left hand, your left arm around the outside of your foot. And from here, this is basically a lizard pose. From here, tuck your back toes. And straighten the back knee 
off the ground. This is a lizard with a bind. Mm -hmm. Now, from here, let's get back on our hands to high lizard. Switch sides. Put the step the foot back into plank. Step the right foot forward. Put the hands slightly to the left. So they're to the left of the foot. Put the back knee down. Left forearm down. And then the other hand, bring it around on top of this right outside of the right foot and on top of it and just hang out here. And then tuck the back toes, straighten the back knee up. Now you're in this lizard pose in a bind. Remember to breathe, relax. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, put both hands, release the bind, put both hands flat on the mat right there. Go into a downward facing dog. We meet again in downward facing dog. Raise the left leg up. Bend the top knee. Put that left foot to the right and flip your dog, meaning maybe that foot that's in the air goes down outside and your left hand comes up and then switch sides it's called flipping your dog go back into downward dog raise your right leg up this time bend that right knee and put it over to the left side and then flip your dog the other way so the foot comes down as the other hand comes up good and then bring it right back up go into downward facing dog hang out in downward facing dog push the heels down into the ground look forward at your hands put the knees down <sighs> Raise the hands up, tuck your back toes, camel pose. Bring the left hand on your left heel as you reach your right arm back. Raise the left arm up, reach the right arm and put it on your right heel as you reach the left arm back and look back at your left hand. Good. Now we're going to raise that other arm up. Do it again on this left side. Left hand on left heel. Reaching the right hand back. Put the right hand down on the right heel as well. So now you're in the full camel pose position. Now we're going to do these awesome camel pose sweeps. You're going to raise your left arm up. Bring it over to your right side and sweep it in front of you and your right hand follows your left as you go to the left and your left hand goes on your left heel right hand goes on your right heel and now you're back in camel pose very good now release the right arm up right arm goes to your left side on the ground and sweeps over to the right and the left hand sweeps over following to the right right hand goes on your right heel as your left arm comes around and back onto your heel now if you want to accentuate this camel pose you can untuck your toes this is our peak pose deep breaths and raise one arm up to come up and the other arm up to come up <sighs> and we're down i'm gonna end it right there because i think that was a really good end where we feel energized stretched out i'm gonna face the camera now so i hope you guys like that little short video just a hodgepodge of 
little stretches, mostly on the floor, mostly low lying. Notice there were barely any standing postures because there's so much to do in yoga, so much variety of movement. And I hope you enjoyed that. If you're looking for a more specific flexibility session, stretching your shoulders or your hips or your hamstrings, I do have the ultimate flexibility bundle where I sell all three of my programs. Those are the cream of the crop in terms of quality and preparation and production value and efficiency in regards to stretching. This is kind of like, I'm just stretching the whole body in some sort of way a little bit here and there. But if you're looking for focused programs, I do sell those. And that's how I stay afloat and I am able to continue to make these free videos available to anyone and everyone. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave a comment with your experience and how you like that. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day. All right, guys. Hey, everybody. So anytime I set my dog up to be in the video, she wants out. Okay, I think she's over it. She's done with it. She knows like this is boring for her. She's going to go somewhere else. And you see, she doesn't walk so well. She's older now. So I'm going to move her inside and then get on with the yoga video.